ஸ்பெஷல் தேங்க்ஸ் டு ஒன் டிவிஎஸ் ஹப்சிகோடா ஹைதராபாத் ஸ்பெஷலி தேங்க்ஸ் டு மேனேஜர் ஆந்தோனி அண்ட் டிவிஎஸ் மூர்த்தி டிவிஎஸ் ரோனிங் இஸ் அ க்ரூசர் பைக் அவைலபிள் அட் ஸ்டார்டிங் ப்ரைஸ் ஆஃப் ஒன் லேக் ஃபார்ட்டி நைன் தௌசண்ட் இன் இண்டியா இட் இஸ் அவைலபிள் இன் த்ரீ வேரியன்ஸ் அண்ட் சிக்ஸ் கலர் வித் டாப் வேரியன்ட் ப்ரைஸ் ஸ்டார்டிங் ஃப்ரம் ஒன் லேக் சிக்ஸ்டி எயிட் தௌசண்ட் செவன் ஃபிஃப்டி The TVS Ronin is powered by 226 BS6 engine which develops a power of 20 bhp and a torque of 19.93 Nm with both front and rear disc brakes. TVS Ronin comes with an anti-locking braking system. This Ronin bike weights of 159 kg and has a fuel tank capacity of 14 liters. The new Ronin 225 is the TBS Motor Company's first ever Neo Retro Scrambler style motorcycle. It is offered in three variants. They are different by their color schemes. Buyers can opt between single tone, dual tone and triple tone versions. The single tone variant is offered in magma red, lightning black. The dual version features in delta blue and black paint options. Lastly the triple tone variant is available in two color schemes galactic gray and dawn orange the features list on the tvs includes full led lighting mounted lcd instrumenter cluster with tvs bluetooth module two abs modes rain and road slipper clutch and glide through technology meanwhile the styling cues from a round headlight a curvy fuel tank a single piece seat a angel cowl alloy wheels and a side slung exhaust the mechanical specification includes 225 cc single cylinder air cooled motor that makes 20.1 bhp at 7750 rpm and 19.93 nm of peak torque at 3750 rpm The engine is linked to a 5-speed gearbox. The hardware compress upside down fork and 7-step preloaded adjustable mono shock. A 300 mm disc at the front and 240 mm rotor at the back. TBS Ronin design. The design draws its heritage back to Zeppelin cruiser concept that has shown at Auto Expo 4 years ago. But this bike has clearly taken a rather different direction when it comes to de- design. You have seen various sort of motorcycle from different angles. There are hint of neo retro machines, cafe racers, flat trackers and scramblers in there. But the strongest design theme seems to be a, that of a cruiser. The most obvious cruiser cue is visible in the racked out angle of front USD forks. But TVS has thrown a few more details. The chain cover for example gets an oversized over that is designed to look like a belt drive system on the large cruisers and then there the tall swept back handlebar along with the alloy wheels design looks inspired by you have seen on the big harleys the overall result in the motorcycle that has a good presence up front thanks to usg forks and chunky 14 liters fuel tank although the rear section is definitely more polarizing the fender looks a little awkward and grab handle seems quite not well but is removable if you don't mind living without it what i do like is slick almost robocop style led tail lamp that neatly integrated into the metal rail which forms the rear sub frame the smart looking mirrors arrow shaped led indicators also give the bike nice premium feel at this price point In fact overall quality finish are probably the best you will find for this kind of money. The standout factor of Ronin new split double cradle chassis is undoubtedly its USD fork setup. This is same 41 mm Showa fork from the RR310 but with completely revised spring and damping rates to the match Ronin comfort characters. There are mono shock at the back and overall suspension travel figures are similar to the RR310. Now we got to the ride the bike only few hours in a day within the announced orange alert sufficient to say we get pushed to the bike to the limits. At 160 kilos not heavy motorcycle but TVS has found the sweet spot between stability light steering agility. 
you need very little effort to change direction and new TVS Rambler tires work quite despite the blocky off-road design with those sort of tires 181 mm of ground clearance Ronin does appear to be designed for some off-road riding however you will soon discover the standing position is awkward the rear ABS can't be turned off that the suspension can bottom quite easily if you start doing silly things the Ronin clearly isn't an off-road not even to the level of muddy cabler scrambler but it is really comfortable on road the riding position is completely upright and neutral with the neutral feeling reach down to the handle bar the foot pegs place comfortably beneath I'm still a little unsure of what exactly TV is running trying to be if you really pushed me to define it i will say that this was a easy riding cruiser sort of bike with a pick of ruggedness built in it has no royal 